Home Link 2-9. In Lesson 2-9, students estimated how much time it would take to tap their desk 1 million times. And on day two, students examined other solutions using a rubric or an in-class discussion, and they revised their work. So we're talking about using multiples of 10. So multiples are your answer to multiplication problems with 10. So 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. So your first one says, estimate about how many meters Martin swims in June. If he swims about 200 meters per day. So that per tells us to multiply. So there are 30 days in June. So how, show how you made your estimate. So he swims about 200 meters per day. So I know if he's swimming 200 meters, per means to multiply, and then 30. So I'm going to just ignore the zeros, and then I have 2 times 3 is 6, and I'm going to add 3 zeros, my 3 zeros. So I'm going to say he swims about 6,000 meters in 30 days. And you might even write that. So then it says, how many, estimate how many days it would take Martin to swim 60,000 meters. Show how you made your estimate. Practice. Make an estimate and solve. You have 107 times 19. I'm going to make this very simple. I'm looking at my tens column. So I'm going to make this 100 times, and then 19 is closer to 20, so I'm going to say 20. And I'm going to say that equals 2,000. Then I'm going to do the traditional method and multiply. So first I need to do 7 times 9 which is 63, my 3 goes in my 1's column, and I carry my 6. 9 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6. And then 9 times 1 is 9. I cross that 9 off, and then 0 below. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Then you add 3... 13, so 2,033, which is very close to our estimate. Do number four on your own. 